LASIK eye surgery. Should you do it? Does it hurt? How much does it cost? Is it worth it? We're gonna answer all your questions in today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And this is my husband, Royce. Yo. And he's actually the one who got the LASIK eye surgery. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna tell us about his experience and if it changed his life for the better. Did it? We'll find out. So I initially posted that I gifted Royce LASIK eye surgery for Christmas and I posted on Instagram. You guys had a lot of questions. So spoiler alert, because we loved our experience at the Global LASIK and Cataract Institute, after we did the whole surgery and he obviously loved his results, I wrote them and said, hey, we got a lot of questions. Would you guys want me to make a video to talk about your business? And they actually decided to sponsor today's video. So thank you for sponsoring today's video so we can answer all your guys' questions about this very life-changing surgery and procedure. So let's start from the beginning. Royce did not initially want to do it. <laughs> not at all. When she told me what my gift was, part of me was like, Oh, yay, cool. But the other part of me was like, but wait, but is this what I want? Because I actually was somebody, I love my glasses. Had it since I was probably like maybe 10, 11 years old. So that was just my life and and I'm dramatic, right? You know, so I, <laughs> I'm seen as like, well, you know, my glasses, it's part of like what makes me me, you know, what makes me unique, what makes me special. So I feel like now I'm kind of like taking that specialness away. So it was actually a very kind of like emotional thing for me to kind of take in. And let go of your glasses. To let go of the glasses. <laughs> but after, you know, some more thought, um, I really started to consider it. One of my main reservations other than that too is that my older sister, she actually got LASIK uh, about 10-ish years ago. And long story short, there was a little bit mix up of her meds post-operation. There was some pain, uh, there were some tears, <laughs> and it kind of scarred me <laughs> a little bit from the whole experience. But also too, like I was kind of, you know, ignorant to the whole, situation i didn't really know how like all the other things that go into play and you know if you talk to my sister now she like raves about it she said it's the best thing she's ever done she's tried to convince me multiple times to get it and i'm like but remember that night though remember that as i do <laughs> but it was a long time ago in the <laughs> early stages of lasik and they've obviously are way more advanced now and there's actually three different types of lasik you can get so the type that uh, roy scott actually wrote down so i don't mess up he got what is called all laser or bladeless LASIK, which is where they create a flap. Like they like cut a little flap and open like a door. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. To get the laser in there where then there's a PRK, which is what you would do if you have a thin cornea. So some of you ask me, can I do it? If your corneas are thin, you can with this new procedure and they don't cut the flap. So it's a different type of situation. You could ask them all the questions when you get there. And the third option is Contura, which is more like the HD version. So I didn't opt for the premium. I'm sorry, Royce, I didn't get you HD hey, 3 I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be greedy here. X-ray vision. I was just trying to go from blurry to clear. <laughs> yeah, so we just did like, you know, the normal one, I guess. So price-wise, it can cost from $1,599 per eye up to $2,199. So it's about $1,500 to $2,100 depending on how bad your vision is. So for Royce, it ended up being about $1,900 per eye, but there was a promotion going on at the time, so we actually got $1,000 off. But because this video is sponsored today, they actually gave me a promo code so you guys can get $1,000 off your LASIK eye surgery. And you too can have eyes like mine. Just like Royce. <laughs> They're also throwing in a dry eye treatment for anyone that says that I recommended you, which is a medication that's sometimes needed that could be like another $200 per eye, but you guys are gonna get it for free because you said I recommended you. So keep that in mind if you do decide to go to the Global LASIK and Cataract Institute here in California. They have several different offices and locations, but they're only in California. Sorry if you don't live here. But Royce and I drove all the way to Huntington Beach for the actual procedure, but then he does his checkups in Pasadena. But because of this COVID time, a lot of their offices were closed. So more locations may be open now and or when you watch this video. So definitely go to their website and check it out for more information. So let's start from the top. How did the procedure go starting with your checkup? First, you have to go see if mm -hmm. you even can get Do it, sick. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started. Checked my vision, everything, you know, like a typical eye checkup. And then- Remember how bad your eyes were like to begin with? 
Like, could you see far? Could you only see close? So I was, so I was nearsighted, right? So I could see close, but I couldn't see far. And the blurry level was pretty blurry. And I've gone for checkups before. So I kind of already knew beforehand that I kind of already qualified. So that wasn't too much of a surprise. But what was interesting this time was that they said I actually qualified for the, either the all LASIK or the PRK. And then when we asked kind of like the main differences, um, they said both are good, um, but there was a longer recovery time if you do get PRK. So since I didn't have to do that, I was like, let me take the one that's a little shorter in that recovery, you know what I'm saying? Well, then after that, then we scheduled our appointment, drove down to Huntington Beach, and that's where the whole operation went. So this is pretty much how it went down, because I know this is the part y'all are wondering. Today's the big day, Jalen. It's the big day. Daddy's going to get his eyes fixed so he can see. Do you want to grab my glasses one last time? Okay, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay. yay. No more glasses. No more glasses. So we are driving all the way to Huntington Beach. It's like an hour drive, but we're able to do it today if we go to Huntington. So we're making the drive to get this done so we can start the new year off right. Here Let's we go. go. We made it. What are we doing? We're doing LASIK during a pandemic. What's happening? Is it hitting you? Ugh. This is how, okay, how, how well can you see right now? I mean, not that well. Do you know where you're walking? I mean, I can see. But, what? But, like, I can't see. Like, everything's blurry around me, but I know we're going somewhere. Can you read that building in front of us? No. Maybe. You don't know what that, what that restaurant is right there. Well, now I know because my glasses are on. It's oh, well, that's cheating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you couldn't read it before? No, I just knew the sign was red. Wow. My bag of medicine. Oh. I changed my mind. <laughs> Hold him down. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> All right, I love you. Have a good surgery. Have a good vision. Okay, it's exactly 12.30 right now. Let's see how long this takes. The actual procedure is supposed to be like 20 seconds. Um, I hope everything goes well. The actual operation itself. First, you go into this room. You got all a bunch of the machines and stuff and the laboratory, all that stuff. So they laid me down. Then this machine kind of is like hovering over me and I look up and I see this like kind of like weird light show and it started off with my left eye. So I'm seeing all like all these like crazy like colorful lights and I'm like, yo, this is like a galaxy black hole type situation. Like what is going on? But it looked really cool. And next thing I knew, um, I hear this little zap, right? And then it's like, and I'm like, oh, okay, snap, it's happening. This is crazy. And so like, I'm like sitting there so still. I'm like, okay, just don't move, just don't move. But the next thing I knew, that part was over. And so in my head, I'm like, cool, great operation, guys. Let's go home. The next thing I know, they put this like thing, this like uh, covering over my eye and they start pressing down. They're like, you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. And this part, I didn't know about going into it. So I'm like, pressure, okay, cool, whatever. And so <laughs> he starts pushing this thing down on my eye. And I can't tell you what any of this stuff looks like because at this point, everything's just, it's just a rush. And I can go <laughs> in the room because it's COVID. Yeah. So I, I can't even give you specific details, but this thing was pushing on my eye. And I guess it was to keep my eye stable for this for the next part, the and actual so you don't correction. blink or anything. And you don't blink, yeah. yeah. So I'm feeling this pressure. I'm like, whoa, 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 what's happening? And then all of a sudden he goes, so, uh, you know, you're gonna, your vision's gonna go black for a second. I was like, whoa! You probably didn't scream. <laughs> I didn't scream. It's a very dramatic I, I, I didn't scream. <laughs> <laughs> but I screamed, wow! I screamed inside, like I was still, I was like, oh no. And then vision, my vision went black. And I was like, okay, whoa, this part's weird. This part's weird. And then all of a sudden I hear, Bzzz, and then the actual laser for the correction is happening. And so the, now I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, okay, we're doing this. And then this part, thankfully they warned me about beforehand. Cause I really would have freaked out. But for, uh, while the laser's hitting your eye, um, I started actually uh, smelling my eye because of the you know the laser and the heat and the friction and things like that and they told me like hey you're gonna there's gonna be a little bit of a smell because of what's like happening a burning smell? it's like a burning smell hmm. and so since I was prepared for it I wasn't as freaked out but it was still freaky to think that like I was smelling my eyeball being 
lasered. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just a crazy concept. But I knew that part was coming, so I didn't freak out as much. So I'm just like, okay, this is what they said. This is what they said. All right, everything's going according to plan. And next day I knew it was done. And he was like, all right, cool, finish. Same thing on the other eye. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh yeah, I have two eyes. Cool, I have two <laughs> eyes. We're gonna do this again. All right, cool. And so now like I'm bracing myself for the other eye and then next day I know that eye's done. Like, there he is. You already have your eyes open and everything. I know. I, I was like, where? I was like, wait, should I should my eyes be open? I how, don't know. how do you feel? Good. I mean, it was it was quick. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it's a little weird at first because uh -huh. it's all up in your eyes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the whole process. I was like, oh, okay. This is nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will take <laughs> these that, that, forever. It's true. It's like. <laughs> I mean, it's like not blurry, but just hazy right yeah, now. Yeah, it'll get better. Yeah. Every day is going to be a much better day. So just be patient. Yeah, this is crazy. Cool. I want to get your eyebrows. You know how girls are with their eyebrows. <laughs> and so every night, I'll have to tape these back on, right? For two weeks. Oh, You're okay? Yeah. Okay. It was weird, like right before they started. Mm -hmm. Bernie almost, like, I actually kind of wanted to cry. Oh, babe. I was so emotional. It's like, He's really happy. And then as it was happening, I was like, yo, like what you're seeing is crazy. Like you don't even see the laser. Mm -hmm. The smell is real though. Mm. <laughs> the smell is definitely real. Yeah, but, she warned us. You know, but it's literally like a light show, like she said. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. I gotta put this in a movie or something. Oh. Just like visuals. It was very sci fi. You are on drugs, so maybe it was psychedelic. Maybe. <laughs> My first psychedelic trip. <laughs> <laughs> We did it! We did it! We did it, Joe! We did it, Joe! Ah! Let me get his mask off. How do you feel, baby? Woo! I feel like... Oh, no. It's it's, it's weird now, because, like, I was able to keep my eyes open a little bit. Mm -hmm. and now they're, like, getting... Getting kind of, like, super sensitive. Now I gotta close them. Okay, well, I'm gonna get you on. Oh, look, Rice, a beautiful rainbow! I can't see it. Oh. I have to keep my eyes Sorry, <laughs> just know it's really beautiful. It's a sign of a beautiful vision and <laughs> color. End it off with your favorite meal. You happy boy? My happy boy. Sonic and I, it's a good day. Sonic and I. It's a good day. So mm -hmm. Because we live like an hour away from the location and you're supposed to take, they advise us for him to take the sleeping medication like 30 minutes before we got home. So depending on where you live, you might need to time it correctly so you don't knock out too soon before you get home because they were like, if he falls asleep in the car, he's gonna be so knocked out, you won't be able to like take him up the stairs right. and get him in the bedroom. <laughs> so I had to like time it right so that he wasn't too asleep so he could still walk up and go to bed and his eyes can recover and just sleep for majority of the day. Cause I think your mm -hmm. phone was like at 11? Maybe? Yeah. It was like mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. So we slept for most of the day. Papa Zanny. <laughs> Have a good night's sleep. Thank you. See you in a couple hours. Okay. Are you in any pain? Um, uh, I mean, I just feel like dry and like there's like some sand in them. Sand in the eyes. Yeah, like they said they it, it would feel that way, but other than that, nothing like painful. It's just like, it's just weird. Yeah. My eyes are watering like crazy. Yeah, it looks like you're crying. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Yeah, other than feeling like you got sand in your eyes, it was actually a pretty, pretty great experience. But how long did that last? So I would say that probably lasted maybe like the first like couple days. And then it was or, gone. And then it was gone. Yeah. And then obviously like you're just, there's just going to be a lot of dryness. So what they uh, recommended was the, this um, eye relief, these drops here. And these are specific for um, LASIK dryness. It says relieves LASIK dryness and uh, preservative free. So that's like the key here, these drops that are preservative free. And so I pretty much drop these in like, uh, I feel like every like 30 minutes, I think like uh, to start off with, just cause like my eyes were so dry, but over time, then it would just went to like as needed. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, I barely need to, to put drops in. And they said this, it would happen probably like up to about three months after the procedure, I would need to do, need these drops. And I think that was about right. About like after three months, I was pretty much good. Um, just, you know, there's like moments where I'm like, okay, I might just throw a couple drops in. But other than that, it was good. Morning. What is this? What? I can see you, Jalen. I can see everything. <laughs> what? You can see? What? 
You're not in any pain or anything? No. You can see perfectly? I can see, I would say, pretty darn perfectly. What? There might be a slight haze still over my eyes, but that's about it. I can see this little cute boy. I can see this little Is he even cute cuter than you remember? Yeah. <laughs> what? I can see, I can see you. I'm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Right in front of me. I can see everything. I can see that it's 75 degrees. Wow. Wow. I didn't ask for the x ray vision. This is. I can see their Pop Tarts over there. Wow. I can. Dad's gonna know where all the Pop Tarts are now. I everything. Heard. Yo, I can see the TV. It's right here. <laughs> I can see Tom Hanks. His face is. Beautiful. Uh. <laughs> it's another test. What does this say? What's the name of this? Leapfrog, my first learning tablet. This is far. Try me. I'm trying you. Okay. This is really small, really far. Okay, what's the name of this book? I almost still through that. My first... Mother Goose? Uh-huh. Nursery rhymes. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I can see everything. I'm a champion. Are you happy? <sighs> Do you feel silly for living the life you were living before this? The struggle that you had <laughs> when you could have just been looking like this? I mean, I don't feel silly. But this is definitely a game changer. Yeah. For sure. I mean, for me, I was definitely somebody who did not want to have the surgery. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good being blind. I don't need nobody's help. But now that I got the help, I love it. This is great. This like the possibilities, things that either I couldn't do or it was too annoying to do, I now can do. Like I can lay down, watch TV, and nestle up with my pillow while watching TV. I couldn't do that with glasses. I always had to like, lay like this. So I went like this, like that, it would scratch oh. my glasses. Now I get to be like, hmm, 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 oh. and watch. That's a good point. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I just sit in angles. Now we can have a TV in our room, because now it makes sense. Okay, we don't need a TV in our room. Yes, we do. <laughs> the coolest thing though, I can say is, literally going from not, really being able to see that well. And literally the next morning, like they promised, I literally woke up and I was like, opened my eyes and I was like, oh, oh, He was oh, amazed. Oh, like he'd never. Oh, oh. <laughs> like I was looking at everything. I was like, oh. <laughs> Like he's never seen before. This is exact, this is actual footage. <laughs> and it made me so happy to, for him to just, you know, like things that you don't think about if you've always had good vision, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe me putting on his glasses would kind of give me an idea of how bad it would be without his glasses. Um, do you, you don't remember your prescription, do you? Uh, no, I forgot all that stuff. It doesn't matter now. Okay, CVD. Beautiful. S-H-K. Excellent. V-D-Z. Too easy for you. N-C-S. <laughs> CKZ. Ooh, there small. Let's try some Let's hard. Try right. <laughs> DSK. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is crazy. VNZ. What is happening? Wow. That's 2020. Now wow. let's go beyond 20. Beyond 20. 2020? Beyond perfect vision. Any oh. Oh. Dang. That's 2015. What? Well, better than 2020. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Wow. That's pretty darn good. And this is the first day. It right. gets better. It gets better? If the vision continues getting better and better. Oh my god. You did perfect yesterday. So we expect great results. Oh my Yay. goodness. No, thank you. Yeah, and the surgery itself was just piece of cake, right? Man, it was crazy. The only thing I would say like I wasn't prepared for was like the, the pressure part. Pressure is the worst. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> no, it was good. Yeah. Give you guys a little bit more example of like my eye level of blurriness. Um so you know when you take your eye test and they start off with the big jumbo ones? Those were like blurry. I could kind of make out. When you get to the second one, I'm done.
<laughs> so that's just and like if I was right here, like would my would my face be blurry before? Yes. So like, like obviously I know she's there. You see the figure, but yeah, the the details are yeah, just. Yeah, I'm like you better know who you with, boy. <laughs> You gotta see me. <laughs> yes. So all that's in the past. My thing was like I I used to say like I was gonna miss like putting on my glasses and having the style of having glasses. Who am I without my glasses? <laughs> I could over care it. less about them. Over glasses. it real quick. I got over this, it real quick. This whole dramatic like monologue before like my glasses <laughs> define oh, who Lord. I am. I the next day. I was over done. it. Overall, I just knew that Royce being a director and into film and everything that he gets is 4K, HD, ultra, whatever. So I'm like, why should you live a life where your cameras and your eight and your TVs are so perfectly clear and you can't even see life clearly? Like imagine being able to direct without your glasses and seeing the footage that you shot clearly. So that was my intent and was it worth it? I mean, is this footage in focus? I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so you would recommend this? No, I would absolutely recommend it. Um, for everybody who's nervous, unsure, scared, afraid, I was all those things. Like literally, she's over here thinking she just gifted me the greatest Christmas gift of all time. And I was like, eh, but I don't know though. You pretty much rejected my gift. <laughs> I, I felt really bad. <laughs> we had to uh, call my <laughs> friends to help me convince him. Yeah, um, so I was just like all you guys. And so I literally can say that just getting over like the fear of you know a laser in your eye because <laughs> it's really not that it's not bad at all and the results are instant like there aren't many things in life where you get this type of result like that quick yeah you know while it, the actual procedure of it and then to actually see the result afterwards like the next day your vision's there and then um, it gets better and better. And then it gets, day. yeah, and it, it improves. And I actually saw like my vision improving more and more and more. Um, and then, you know, you go through your checkups and they just, they keep making sure that that your vision's good. But highly, 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 highly recommend it. Uh, it's, 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 it's life changing. Like I thought using that word was dramatic. It's dra dramatic as I am. <laughs> uh, I was like, is it life changing though? But absolutely. It's absolutely life changing. Like I can't even... I can't even think back to when I had glasses. I can't even remember who that was. Who is that guy? I don't know. He's gone. Wow. So when you go to Global LASIK and Cataract Institute, not only are you paying for the LASIK, you also are getting a lifetime enhancement guarantee. So if you have any other issues, it's going to be covered mm -hmm. in your LASIK plan. So at Global LASIK, they have the top numbers in their practice. So we, we were on to go there because our friend recommended it. So it was like a nice to have an actual person that we know right. mm -hmm. have a recommendation, so made us comfortable. So now let me answer some of the questions you guys asked me on Instagram. One of you asked me, do they take insurance? If your insurance allows it, they do honor an insurance discount, but usually they consider this a cosmetic surgery and not like something that would fall under your normal healthcare. So it usually doesn't fall under it, but if your insurance does, they will honor that insurance discount. They recommend that you be at least 18 or older to even consider LASIK. And there's really no such thing as being too old to get your eyes done. They have had a patient that was 76 years old and she was able to do it. So it really just depends on your eyes and the, your prescription. So you'd go in for a free consultation and they let you know exactly what you're able to do. And another person asked if you have astigmatism, can you still get the operation? And yes, you can. So the biggest fear about this whole LASIK operation is obviously is just the unknown right like you don't know what's going to happen so hopefully this video has answered some of your questions give you a little bit more of a visual of what the procedure actually looks like from my personal experience um and yeah hopefully it'll put you at ease and just realize that it's honestly one of the greatest gifts you can give to yourself and once again if you do decide to go to global lasik like we did tell them that bianca recommended you and you will get a thousand dollar discount plus they will include a free dry eye treatment if you need it after your surgery which usually can cost up to 200 dollars per eye so it's a huge saving and take this as your sign to take the plunge and mm. get lasik if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow us both on Instagram. I'm at Ms. Bianca Renee, and you're at... I'm at Roro Beckley. And you also can follow us on Twitter, on TikTok, we're all over the place. I'll be making a little reel about Royce's experience and also tagging Global LASIK on Instagram as well. But if you have any more questions, leave a comment below and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee. Today. today. Oh, look at you.